Hi and welcome back. I have wanted to try these and I went to the supermarket to pick up some white acrylic paint today and um, I wasn't supposed to buy this but I gave up on the acrylic paint because these were lowered by more than 50 percent uh, normally they cost 250 Danish kroner and they were put down to 99 that is about $15 I got them for so that was there was just no way around it the smaller sets were all more expensive than, than this and it was the last package so um, there's been some talk about them and yeah I've been playing with that sketchbook some more there's been some talk about it for a while and um, they only just recently appeared on anything on my end of the world even though they're from Germany Stadler is a, a German company and yeah they are produced in in Nuremberg Germany so that uh, no they're actually made in Italy but they're the companies stated in Germany so um, looks like a quite nice array of colors I am not very fond that that back row is dipped down it makes it a little hard to see them unless you're looking right down from the top um, so I wonder if if that can be no it's not any quick fix to rearranging them so I have been thinking if I should do a swatch of them but I think I will do that off camera and then come back and say something let's uh, look at them first here uh, as of now it, do now it doesn't look like they are going to sell them open stock because there's no barcode no indication of anything here other than which end is what kind of tip there's a big pointy bullet nip on one end and a finer bullet nip on the other and they're water soluble or should be hmm maybe I got the wrong kind maybe that's why it was on sale let's check it out and I'll take another color then then this let me take a golden brown and to test them out on I have pulled out my Canson XL Media pad it's the paper I found worked the best for me with these oh that's acrylic and that's acrylic but these here are made with one kind of water soluble ink or another and that is done with my equine markers so and the excel paper is not very expensive correct my camera a bit so let us try a little doodle down in the corner here I think it might be difficult to ah it is actually works really well it looked like the, the ink was sinking into the paper you will get some residual lines in there I can tell right there let me try and see if I can get the zoom to work with me
so you can see that there's kind of a line there that doesn't necessarily pick up but you can pull it out to some extent so you, it's probably better for just what it's called line and wash where you do whatever lines you want and then you do the wash where the residual lines is kind of part of the feature God. A little plastic ink cup. If you don't want the lines, you might have to do this. Scribble it out on plastic. Zoom out again. So. And then pick it up with a brush. Then you get a an even color on the paper without any lines in. So yeah, so they they work kind of like any other water soluble marker or pen but with a lot of colors. And even if I had paid normal price for that package, it is still not super expensive. The color changes a little bit when you water it down. That's also normal for this type of ink that is used in these type of pens. It becomes a little more pinkish maybe. And here you can get a different line with, oh, there was some water. You can hold it on an angle and you get a fairly wide line. And if you can hold it up more straight, you can get a thin line. I think I might use them for, for lining more than for watering out, but I'm not sure. So that is that's quite cool. And, um, maybe I should try and do some kind of a doodle and use them for that and see how it goes. Well, I can tell that I might just as well all pull them out of here and find something to put them into because I already forgot where this one came out. So this row somewhere, maybe in there. So um, nice, uh, nice colors. I've seen the reviews of of these, and they were all talking about them being washable. And the drawing here looks like it has been washed over too. So. Um, Maybe this is the first packaging they released and that's why it's put down because they they now marketed with a mark on the front with their new line. It's called Design, Design Journey, I think. And um, so it might be that it is just an old packaging I got. I don't care. They work the same. So let me pause the camera and come up with a little sketch and we'll do some painting and doodling. So let's get back at this. I doodled up a water, what do you call them? A nude, a fire nude. Uh, they I'm going to test out the colors down here because I'm not sure what's the difference between these two yellows. They look very similar. <laughs> um, there's next to no difference between these two. So, I Oh, and the cap it fits on top of the cap. That's good. I like that. 
and I'll adjust the lights a little bit and hope the flicker will be a little less there, centered. So they're black and white. And very cute blue forest newts. My cat thinks I should play with him instead of sitting here. And my husband is home late because he went out with a colleague after work. So now the cat is upset. Things are out of order. People has to his people has to be home on time, otherwise he gets upset. He's a very little sensitive creature. This is so big an area, I should actually. Somebody sent me a kitten for that cat to play with. Or the strokes. I've just drawn this up with a mechanical graphite pencil. I hope I can erase the lines afterwards. Neptune slap no way. Yo. Jeg kan ikke lege lige nu. Det er ikke noget, at jeg har kødt med ham og spillet med ham hele dagen. Jeg kan ikke bare sidde her, når han er opsat. Jeg kan ikke bare sidde her, når han er opsat. It's a baseline. That goes down. It, it's very nice to to work with these. Um, I found these two. I'll test them on later. I think that is a silver. And this might be a gold or a, a bronze, but I'll try them off on later. And now for the black part here. I'm going to start out with just a very dark gray and then shade it in with black. That little roll makes really good products. The only thing I don't like is their Norris Club regular wax pencils, color pencils. But they came up with a new line of color pencils and I actually got some of those and I should make a video with, with that, I think. It's just tricky if I use that. Yeah.
definitely the broad tip for filling in areas. And with that pointy point, you can you can still get in the small areas. That's a little broader than planned. I hope the black can log out there because that mixed with the the, the grey mixed with the yellow it doesn't look all that good. It's a cold grey, so it is bluish. So that is a little green there now. more stuff with markers. This is actually quite fun. To nobody's surprise, I have had newts as pets, not these species, um, but I've had fire belly newts. They are so cute. They are sadly really hard to keep in their tanks, so the ones I had escaped at a time where I was not home and I was not home for over a day and they don't last outside the tanks unfortunately so they were both dried up and dead when I came home or well, one was barely alive and I managed to hydrate it but it died a couple of days later anyways it's quite sad I kept them in a, in a fish tank with a land part, but the little Houdinis, they managed to climb up the glass and found the ventilation hole and went out that way, which was not good for their health. It was really sad, and we just never got other ones because I never found a an appropriate terrarium to put them in. I got one now, but now I can't find them anywhere. That's okay. My geckos are in there. So. And I can't put them in there together because the climate they, they need are totally different. The, the geckos wouldn't like all that that much moisture that newts need.
It's a nice and bright and vibrant colors. Quite like these. I'm trying to leave some gray standing out to show where kind of the spine is. I kind of mucked it up there, but I think I might have to go in and fix some things with a white gel pen at a later stage. The black here covers up the the yellow quite nicely. So started out what looked like the lighter yellow and here is the darker. So let's see if I can use this for shading. It actually works okay. It's kind of funny because they look like pretty much identical on the on the swatch down here. But when I put the one on top of the dark on top of the the lighter, that impression disappears. It's clearly darker. You can also see it on the camera. Yeah, I like these. I really quite like these. Most of the year, these ones live in the leaf litter on the forest floor. And these are special, um, they're actually salamanders, they're not newts. These guys can't swim. They have a tendency to actually be quite obese as they get older. And they get quite big. So when they breed, they have to find a pond with kind of a low inclination towards the water and a bit of low water at the water set so they can just stick this end 
in the water and lay their eggs. All salamanders lay egg in, in water just like frogs and toads. But these ones prefer just a, a bum dip over a swim. That's kind of unique and special. used to use markers and pens quite a lot when I was a teenager and I did a few quite realistic flower drawings at the time and I quite I all forgot how, how satisfying they actually are when you got the right set of colors I managed to get a huge set of The, the regular kits, marker pens, but they had some like some tan and and some real and some browns that were quite realistic, and they weren't just all super bright. So I could really do all kinds of things with them. I might paint the background out a little bit because that streaks. I'm going to add some extra colors to it too, so it might not be necessary. It's actually a good, uh, good subject because it looks good no matter how I turn it. Just facing another way. I, as there's nothing said about them on the package, and because of the nature of this type of pens, I kind of assume that they are not at all light fast but they're they're good for this kind of thing sketchbook work and doodling I don't know if if they would be good for coloring books because I don't know how they are on thinner paper but I kind of assume that you could risk some bleed through if you try and layer them especially but uh, they're probably just fine on crate space paper, coloring books and stuff like that where you only have print on one side anyways. I decided against doing the big grand swatch. Might do that at some point off camera and just. I, I could very well be doing more videos using this. These here. 
and then just show you the swatch at a later date. I'm not big on swatching on camera. It's a process I find quite tedious to be honest. The color coordination between the cab and the, the marker is, for the ones I've used, as good as you can expect. Don't expect it to be 100%, but um, this is dark grayish green on, on the plastic cap and end there. And that's pretty much also what I get when I use it. Um, if that kind of stuff is something that bothers you if it's not 100%, yes, watch them. But there's no number or nothing on the pens. So you'd have to kind of mark them up somehow yourself to, to indicate what marker you have. What I would maybe do was to make, create a little swatch to, to tape on here with some clear sticky tape or something rather than having to refer to a, a chart all the time. But it is entirely up to whoever uses them how they like to do that. Some methods works for some people and other methods for others. I keep charts of my watercolors and that's kind of because I sometimes have to, especially until I Gotten to, gotten used to my palette because in pans they all look black. Not that they don't all look black, but there's a lot of colors that look the same in the pan and they look black. It's kind of annoying to get a purple if you were dipping for a blue, so or a brown if you wanted a purple. So. There's, this paper has some texture, so um, you can see there's some holes in there. So I'm going to give it a splash of water just for evening things out. something blooming that right now that I'm somewhat allergic to. Officially I have no allergies because I don't react on anything on allergy tests. In real life, I do react to some things with a cough. But I'd say it's not asthma, so I'm happy. Not that asthma is the, the worst thing that could happen to a person. You know, lots of people with it that lives good lives with the appropriate medicines. Sip of water. There. Yeah, this is way cool. 
one of the things I usually like. Okay, that was not an allergic reaction. It was a physical reaction to some hay I must have breathed in when I fed the horses. And I found the magic we want out point in my throat. So now I have coughed that out and I feel much better. Things you do. So. It's kind of streaky this background. If I had done a little more careful filling in, I'm quite sure it would have looked better. But we're not done. So I want to see if I can use some other colors in here and give it some interest. They blend nicely, which is kind of can be touch and go with some marker pens. This is a very good product for a very reasonable price. I'm quite impressed to be honest. Dark. Brown here. used to make a shadow underneath it with my husband is on better hurry up get finished You might hear him yell in the background when he comes in. I'll have to make a pause now. Hang on. Okay, let's finish this one up. background is a little bit too dark. But oh, I'm pretty okay with how this one turned out. do much more about it but I want to promise to test out those two markers and pens 
I'm not thick enough to be markers, I guess. Well, if this is a silver, it has no silver effect on this paper. It's kind of a greenish gray, so it's probably supposed to be the gold. And this one is kind of a shady gray and also has no metallic marker. Um, but there's glitter in the plastic on the cap, so I think they're supposed to be metallic. And it might just be that it shows on some paper, but not so much on others. I will do a quick little thing here with my this is a, a white pit pen and some people who have done reviews of that has complained that it's not totally opaque I quite like it because I don't want it to be opaque I don't want super high white highlights all the time it is in place sometimes, other times I just want kind of a light, lighter highlight, lighter version of whatever color I'm highlighting. So that is, uh, that is very suitable here. They are kind of glossy but not super shiny, these creatures. So, there we go. One fire note with just a little bit of these twin tip pens. I'm definitely going to use these some more. Those are fantastic. Please throw me a like and a subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. And please come back soon again. Take care. Bye bye.